Hey there, it's Zach. Today we're going to be using React Strap, which is the uh, Bootstrap affiliate that we previously talked about, and we're going to be adding a component. So right now, we are where we last left off. Uh, I currently used npm start. I have the app running, and we're still at hello world. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to reactstrap.github.io. If you haven't done so yet, scroll down and you want to do two npm installs, this first one and then the second. Uh, just so you know, the dash dash save actually uh, imports it and makes sure it is on your JSON, your package.json. So uh, after that, just to reiterate, um, we're going to import the bootstrap distribution into our source index.js. All right, so from there, we're going to view components and first I want to add a nav bar. So this will be the nav bar. It's uh, pretty great right now because you can copy and paste it. So I'm gonna go into my source directory here. I'm gonna create a new file called my navbar.js. I'm going to copy this exactly. And then I'm going to paste this. I want to change example to my navbar. So when it is being exported and I import it from the app.js, I'm gonna import it as my navbar. In case you're wondering, you cannot do just navbar because it is already declared. So I'm gonna go in here. Keep in mind, you always have to have this div. This is called class name app, and that's where it searches in the root. So in here, since we're not gonna use this logo anymore, I am going to import my navbar, again, uppercase, from then I'm going to do a dot period to search current directory, my damn bar, and I'm gonna close it as such. Re when I save it, it should refresh to nothing because there's no longer anything inside of this. And I'm going to simply use JSX uh, rules and I'm going to declare my navbar with a space and a self-closing tag. I'm going to save it. To the left, we can see it compiled successfully and we now have our local navbar. In the future, I'm gonna show how we're going to add a lot of components and also some routing. And we're going to continue adding more. And with this is how we're gonna create our single page application using pretty quick and pretty easy copy and pasteable React app code. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks.